Oh, you yeah. can have your teenager. You can always run the bedroom and bathroom yeah. out there. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> you know, when people talk about art and faith, I think we're all created in the image of God. And being created, we are creators. And if you're creative, you belong in art and faith because we're trying to nurture that creative spark in people and encourage you and see what kind of creative work you're doing. It doesn't have to be a grand painting to be creative. It's taking something and making it in a way that feels right to you. And so trying to make it something where everybody feels welcome and we can encourage you in that. One of the reasons why I decided to come to IAC was because of I'd heard there was an artist community. I think my soul was just longing for beauty and for a different lens to, to practice my faith. Mm -hmm. And so I had a, an acquaintance that said, well, if you're going to end up in Colorado Springs, which we were thinking about, she's like, you should try IAC because of the artists there. And it just can it can bring a lot of life back back to your faith. But I love just coming and seeing the different types of art. It just brings a freshness. Seeing the different ways that people were using yeah. art, um, I would say helped me recover my own art and my own voice. And I felt inspired. I also went through a lot of healing from art and faith. And I feel like I've been mentored by these other great artists and creatives, both as an artist but also as a believer mm -hmm. and. The art helps the faith and the faith helps the art. It's not this side thing that you do if you ever end up having extra time to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, actually, it's doing a lot of the good in the world and in, in yeah. ourselves. I appreciate being able to see how people are making meaning out of things. It helps me make sense of my own story and the bigger story we're all part of as well. Mm -hmm. I think a centerpiece for a lot of these conversations is just story itself and individual stories. Mm -hmm. And that is hopefully embodied by the work of art itself that people are producing. But even just again, listening to those stories is just as important as making them. Just sort of bring who you are to the table. It's really a space to be encouraging at the end of the day. I think we're trying to expand our idea of what it means to be an artist or a maker, a creative, which very much branches off to people that consider themselves as practicing artists, whether you're a filmmaker, a writer, a painter, a gardener, so on. But I feel like we need artists, but we need patrons of the arts as well, and people that can appreciate the arts and sort of be part of the process in that sense as well, to say you're not just brainstorming and making the work itself and sharing the content of the work and talking about it, but then it extends to the public sphere to say this is a collaborative project and can be a center for conversation. The arts really do have the ability to kind of inform your theological understanding, but then also enrich your theological engagement and spiritual formation. Maybe you can picture it as like bringing color to a black and white photograph. We have this sort of rational, logical understanding of how we can encounter these theological ideas or how our faith is formed and shaped. But then also you can enter into those conversations through a different lens. In that case, kind of an artistic expression, which can be maybe more intuitive or more subjective, but really beautiful. And the two married together, I think, can really enrich your faith in ways that are pretty surprising. But for me, it's again to say like, how can the arts expand our understanding of what it means to be human and being part of that story, engaging the stories that we're talking about and looking at, observing, slowing down, really noticing, and being deep thinkers and empathizers with humanity itself. Yeah, when I was asked to perform for the Art and Faith group, I actually got really excited because we have this whole group of people within IAC and also, you know, even with Holy Trinity who are very talented artists and I thought surely we have some songwriters in here and so I reached out and um, Jacoby actually stepped up with a piece that he had Just really immersing myself in the song seeing where the heart of it was what was the emotion behind it what was the story behind it and then trying to bring that to life, bring movement, action, bring that emotion into it and to create to create an experience where someone is, is feeling the same thing in the music that they're hearing but now they're feeling it at a different level, they're feeling it in their body and they're in, in other senses. Yeah, it's like feeling it in different ways just like when we worship without even thinking about it sometimes we lift our hands up so you're trying to get people to broaden 
That's right. How did it turn out and call come together for you? I enjoyed it. You know, I really enjoyed being able to work with two artists who seemed to get it from a, immediately what it would be like to share their art and to see it take a different form. And there's this freedom in um, just being present in the moment and I felt that freedom in the group. We're all part of a big body and to be able to pull in different parts of that body to create something was seemed very special to me. In the past, art has been seen as like someone working in a studio all by themselves, the lone artist, but that isn't what art is. It's a community, it's encouragement, it's creating art to be seen by others and to be influenced by others. And I think it helps to be around other voices, to find your voice.